And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Legend of Legaia. Last time we liberated the Sabucus Islands from the Mist Generator. And uh, so this time we are in Octum. And we are one elevator ride away from being a train ride away from the Caristo Kingdom. And Jewel wants me to hydrate. Ah. Life giving water, nectar of the gods. Dream filled Caristo. Interesting. It's the first time today, yes, it is. Oh. Hey, what's through this door? Just a little waiting room. Look at this. Flying trains using Seru power to cross the ocean in a single bound. Wait a minute. Hmm. Seru power, you say? This might not go so smoothly. Alright, Dr. Octopus. Yeah, there's a reason why it's a one-way ride to Callisto. Let's talk to these other these other two people first. It only take you halfway to Callisto Kingdom because of the mist there. All right. Let's, uh, let's get going. Here we go! Attach Flying Seru. All personnel in standard flight positions. Oh dear. Yeah, I probably wouldn't want to fight that. Alright, the flying saber already. Now stop stalling and get on board. Well, jeez, give, give us a break here. The first time we see this. Of course, there had to be a special song for this uh, long distance travel thing. We get some nice scenic, sh scenic shots of uh, the Sabucus Islands here. Very meandering. I'm not sure why it's uh, why it just goes in every possible direction. Fun gala! This flying train is great. We're breezing across the ocean! Look, look! Octum is already out of sight! We're already at Crystal Kingdom! Soon we'll be in Conkrum! Yeah, Conkrum! I know. Pirate did say that your parents were in Conkrum, didn't you know? Well, when I was in Byron Temple, I once heard. In Crystal Kingdom, Soul and Conqueror were at war when the mist first covered the earth. Zoku said he believed that there was some connection between the, that war and the mist. I think he was right, but that's not all. 
behind everything, deep inside the mist. I sense a horrible evil. Vaughn, something's wrong. The flying train stopped. That is strange. We're still in the middle of the ocean, and Christo isn't even in sight. Uh, what? Noah, were you lying to us? Because it sounded like we were already at the Christo Kingdom. The train is tired, not quite. Something's not right. Why would we stop in the middle of the ocean like this? Oh, that was the, uh, the conductor that was saying that. Or the crewman. Hey, what are you doing stuck in a place like this? Blah, 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 blah. What? What? What was wrong? What happened? We were just talking about it over here, and... This is not good. They say the Mist and Caresto Kingdom is much stronger than they expected. But if we go any further, the Mist will start affecting our flying, Saru. I thought we could go farther than this. No worries, a nice downhill slope from here on in. We'll just unhook the gondola, and with a little momentum, you'll coast right into Caresto. Leave everything to us, just close the gondola door and wait. We're counting on you. Affirmative. Okay, you ready? Hold on tight. Here we go. Run, run, run. Oh man, we're going fast. This guy's overexcited. Hey, hey, that's enough. Unhook us, unhook us. Come on, Noah, Gala, we're counting on you. Good luck. Hey, are you alright? This disappears, and next thing I know, we're swimming in the ocean. Are they gone? They're gone. Hope they're alright. Too bad the gondola doesn't have any brakes. Oh no. Hey, those guys have Rosseru. You said it. Nothing can beat a Rosseru by your side. Alright, let's go back. Shoot, I wish the flying server could swim. Sounds like a dumb plan, but sure. Oh dear, did I see the end of the line there? We're hurling it toward it at full speed. Oh, mama. Grace for impact. I wish I got to hear about this. Well, well, first you're wandering all over the place, now you're napping here. Kara! <laughs> you're so pathetic. See what happens when you depend on those flying trains. I can't keep getting- I uh, can't- uh, I can't keep getting you out of trouble, you know. Hey, I ain't never asked you to help me. Kara, what are you doing here? What is that? Can't believe this. That's the floating castle. The one that sprays mist down from the sky. That's how she got here. She took a ride on the floating castle, apparently.
and took everything from us. The floating castle is gone. Tell me, Kara, how are you able to travel freely through the mist? How do you escape possession by Seru when you don't have a raw Seru like us? Raw Seru? What's a raw Seru? All I have. Is this good luck charm? Kara, that's a raw Seru egg! Wow! Kara, where did you get that raw Seru egg? Oh, so that's what you call it, a raw Seru egg. Didn't know that. Kara, can I have that raw Seru egg? <laughs> I don't think so. No, you can't have it, it's mine. Why should I give it to you? <laughs> Well, I have to get going. I have things to do. Wait, Kara, where are you going? Sorry, that's a secret. Ugh, that woman. But I wonder where she got that Ross air rig. Kara might be a really nice person. After all, she helped us up. Or she could just be chaotic neutral. That's what I'm betting on. Sure, let's uh, let's read up on uh, this place. World's largest city, Seoul. The Gaia's entertainment capital. A single giant structure with a history going back hundreds of years. Interesting. Uh, Buma. That's in the east. It's famous for its Genesis trees, plural. Interesting. Three cliffside Genesis trees. Cliffside, though. Hmm. We'll see if they're still there. This has been ten years. Burmayas, the mysterious city of ancient ruins. A new type of Seru that comes from Burmayas. Hmm. Seru so appears suddenly from out of nowhere. Interesting. We're definitely going to be going to Urbias. Never Ravine is located in Buma. Now that's all. Uh, I did read the pamphlet. I definitely did. Honest Person's Store. Travel kits for 3,000. Five healing blooms, a door of wind, and a door of light. I mean, it's on this person's store, which means if we um, if we take a travel kit, we need to actually leave three thousand. We don't have three thousand, and I don't feel like stealing. But I think there might be something else around here. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, anyway. Not a big deal. So I guess uh, let's follow the road and see where it takes us.
Uh, let's go after the slime first because, uh, as we all know, those can split. And this acid slime is probably no exception to that rule. Good defense on uh, Gala's part there. down. I don't think that agility in Greece is, is going to help you very much, buddy. I mean, it might. Uh, you're going to spirit, and you're still going to attack, you're going to attack. Vaughn getting real close to, uh... Well, I guess you're making use of that agility injuries up there. But Vaughn's getting real close to uh, a complete attack bar as well. I don't think he's quite to nine yet, but uh, that uh, that miracle water definitely helped him get there. And I think he also was the only one to level up from uh, from Dahadi. And there's another Queen Bee, which is a perfect indication that we ended up fighting that, uh, that bee saloon at the right time. Really? Did that do any damage? I don't think it did. Queen B is a jerk. It has a lot of health, holy crap. There we go. have everyone attack here. Really, you don't need to use fire blow at this point, I don't think. Oh, that didn't take him down. Alright. But what does it cost you? Like, he says it costs you, but like, what and how much? There it is. God dang Loch Ness Monster! Why is he con conspiring with Julmara? <laughs> well maybe... maybe Julmara is the Loch Ness Monster.
Actually, something weird that I learned about the Loch Ness Monster is, um... And I learned this from watching, uh, some episodes of the game show Greed, which are available on uh, YouTube. Um, apparently, I think it was Greed. Was it Greed or was it Tipping Point? It was one of the two. Might have been Tipping Point. I've been watching lots of game shows on YouTube This is what I'm saying. But also what I'm saying is, apparently, like, there's officially a genus assigned to the Loch Ness Monster. I don't remember what it is, but like, yeah, they, they took the joke that far. Yeah, I think it is time to heal up. Uh, you can take care of healing this time, Vaughn. Yeah, here we are. Salt Tower. Or some random cryptozoologist decided to make the nonsense sound more real. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh, like, it, it's not to make it sound more real, it's just, like, going along with the joke. There's always going to be people who think it's real, but the general consensus is that it is not. Wow! So this is Seoul. I never imagined that such a huge city could be built by human hands. This must have been built with the power of the Seru long ago. Flying trains, the city itself, truly a pre-mist civilization. Of course it's a pre-mist civilization, the mist has only been around for ten years. See what it's like inside. No, wait, don't go in alone. Well, come on, Fun and Gal, let's go. <sighs> There's no arguing with Noah. Come, Vaughn, we're all going inside. Javon Gala, look, it's huge! I heard Seoul was a big place, but I never imagined it was this big. But it's engulfed in the mist! Wait, I sense human thoughts. There are survivors in there. The mist doesn't seem to have reached the upper parts of the city. But be careful, I sense indescribable depravity. Come on, Gala, let's be careful. Warrior monks of Byron were sent to Seoul. Hope they're still alive. Well, I guess uh, up is where we're going. Yeah. Save point right here, don't mind if I do. Of course, as usual, since we are saving inside, I'm going to be saving to the... Uh, Temp save. Power's out, so I guess that's uh, an elevator, probably. Hey, buddy. Very long load time.
course, we are gonna run into some fights around here. Spoon! Uh, you go in spirit. You spirit too. Why is Spoon made of forks? Also, what the hell is this supposed to be? It's just a skeleton with eyeball joints. Still not down. There you go. Didn't capture it though. As usual, the 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 person with the best chance of capture is gonna be Vaughn. By the way, this is what li Lightning Storm looks like. I have not thought to actually use it during uh, this session yet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fight here. These two are gonna scare it. Ah, uh, didn't capture it. Yes, yeah, some kind of cutlery, I guess. That's a box. The healing berry from the sage's treasure chest. Sage's treasure chest. Silence. I I feel like that's going to be significant. Definitely one of those nights where I kind of would like the window open, but I feel like that would just make it worse. It's started raining. Yeah, it was definitely raining here uh, earlier today, and raining pretty hard, honestly. Hey, we got Spoon, though. Actually, hang on. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. Boom. Uh, you spare. Or let's not use spoon. Let's just kill this dead bone outright. And Noah stealing the uh, the spotlight here also levels up from the uh, from the effort. Trying 
to see if I could read what was on the, uh, whoa, wait a minute. Were you always there? I got a power water. Couple of more spoons. Also, my hand fan falls to the floor. Ooh. Holy eyes! Look at these holy eyes! There's five of them. Oh, that's like a mega heal. I'm guessing that, like, where um, where Orb is heal everyone. Uh, Spoon is probably heal everyone to full. So how much did that cost actually? 45. Uh, compare that to Orb which is 18. It's like casting orb two and a half times. No spoon for anyone else. Oh, actually, yeah, there's, a, there's another spoon over there. Uh, you're gonna spear it, and you're gonna spear it, everyone's gonna spear it, apparently. Actually, you're gonna hang back. I'm gonna have everyone else attack. See if we can get someone else, uh, give someone else a spoon. Well, it ain't gonna be this time. There's another sage chest here. The wisdom water. Ostrich special chicken omelette, quick quick fried blowfish and worms. Doesn't sound particularly appetizing. Magic water. Okay, this is gonna come back and bite me in the face, isn't it? I'm not gonna use these right now. Oh, 
Okay, that that one or a little yeah oh come on please stop going after one <laughs> at least there are only two of them make that one of them uh Vaughn heal yourself you're gonna spear it and you're gonna attack. Yeah, it would be kind of interesting to, um, to like see everyone's attacks happening at the same time. Actually, your HP is still a bit low. I think you should be fine for this fight though. I'm gonna have you try to spear it. No, we'll probably neither get to your turn. Especially if uh, Noah performs Vulture Blade. Gala levels up. As a celebration for Galala, then that you can cast a word. Wow, more water. I don't remember there being this many waters around here. Both of you are going to spear it. Yeah, taking a lot of damage from being spirited, actually. Curse all? That didn't sound good. Hmm. That means we don't get to use magic. And considering that uh, everyone is cursed, that means no one gets to use magic, which means we are completely reliant on items right now. I will also never not hear that as the French version of Stop Bothering Me Goddamn. Yeah, that was a bit of a rough one, wasn't it? <laughs> For good measure, let's get everyone topped up. Uh, 
and that takes us back to the uh, to the entrance. Uh, we're probably gonna run into some uh, some duplicate uh, houses here. Actually, you fight Dead Bone. Uh, you Spirit, and you fight Spoon. <laughs> See if we can get, uh, see if we can get, give, uh, eat both Noah and Gaia a chance to get Spoon. So that we have more than just one character with the emergency heal button on. I think this will work out. I don't think uh, anyone else is targeting that spoon. The spoon might actually go ahead and attack Dead Bone. Yep, just gonna sit there. That's fine. Uh, you're gonna spirit. Did not absorb it though. <laughs> uh, this is yeah. This is also the uh, the elevator. I think we've been here. Yes, we can tell because the chest is open. We've definitely been here. Yeah, chest is open. I saw it in the uh, the top right there. But I think this is where we left off. Gala, wait a minute. I hear something. I hear someone fighting. Yes, I hear it too. The sound of a monster roaring and the sound of a sword. It must be someone being attacked by a monster. Bon, let's go help. The sound stopped. Whoever it was must have been killed by the monster. Hello? Villains! So thou wert trying to ambush me? Grotesque beast from hell, pack of sound demons! Prepare to meet thy doom! Thou shalt die by my astral sword! Hold it! Old man, calm down! We're not zero monsters! Yeah, we're human beings! Oh. <sighs> Forgive me, I apologize. Thou art indeed human, I detect no bandits in thine eyes. I am Gaza, an old man who walks the path of carnage and bloodshed. Will give me in mind in civility, as I live in such a defiled land. But this demon, there is no place for woman nor child. Hmm. And you are both. Ma. No, of course not. 
My eyes don't deceive me. Ma is no longer of this world. And the upper floors are the ones who would greet thee. Make haste. Take leave of you now. That old man, Gaza, how there is a true swordsman, does not drop his guard for an instant. He is grandpa, isn't he? But his eyes, his eyes show no emotion at all. They were lifeless, cold eyes, very disturbing. That old man talked so funny, I couldn't understand him. But when he looked at me and called me Mar, he seemed so nice. Just for good measure, let's save. Because that was, uh... That was an event that just happened. Is he, Grandpa? We'll find out at some point, probably. He's too conspicuous to only show up once, after all. Well, looks like we have reached, uh the mist line. Upstairs and have a ball. It's a fun town. Well, we found the inn. We have seen literally no part of the town that is not uh, overtaken by the mist. Two eighty highway robbery, I say. Oh, well, two eighty is uh, basically we get more than that from a fight right now, so not too concerned about that. Lovely. So basically, it went from fear to hedonism to forced hedonism. So basically, there are, Sol was about to win this war that they were having with Conquerum. And then all of a sudden, mist started happening. Oh, I can't take it anymore. Start acting like a man. It's Kara! Fawn, that's Kara's voice! It's coming from there. Sounds like an argument. Let's go see! Vaughn, let's go inside! Hmm. That nose always poking her nose into everything. Come on, Vaughn, let's go. I'm not saying this because I hate you. I just want you to get it back on your feet. I want the Grantes up ten years ago before the mist. <sighs> Everything I did, I did them hoping that someday you would get back on your feet. I was a no good thief. I used the confusion to steal from people. I did things that would make my parents cry if they knew. Me, a woman, I did all those things. Don't you feel anything? I'm grateful. Sorry. 
Brent is. You're a sorry excuse for a man. Living off a woman, you're no better than a pimp. Fun, what's a pimp? Oh, jeez. Let's not get into that, no. If Grantis is a human, how can he be a pimp? God damn it. I don't really understand either. Oh. Well then, Gala, can you tell me what? Oh, well, I am a monk and know not of such things very well. It seems to be what one calls a bad man who doesn't work and has a woman support him. A pimp is a bad man? Uh-huh, I get it. Grantis is bad. I hate people who are bad. Wait, no, don't be so hasty. I'm gonna get Grantis because he's bad. Punt. Grantis is bad. Pimps are bad. I hate pimps. That's why I won't let Grantis get away with that. No, don't. Stop, please. He's not bad. I'm the one who's bad. It's all my fault. So please don't hurt him. If you want to hit something, sim if you want to hit someone, hit me. Why should I hit you, Kara? Grant is the one who's bad. No, his attack power. The guy's probably dead. No, don't interfere in their business. Come on, let's go outside. But I didn't do anything wrong. Grantis is the one who's bad. No, this is adult business. You can't go sticking your nose in it, into it. Adults are humans, too. I'm a human. I'm human just like them. Oh, I don't understand. Go and tell me why. Oh, brother. You're so strange. Come on, Noah. You want to go? Oh, <laughs> come on, Noah. You want to go to Concord, right? You want to see your parents in Concord, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, Gala. I'll take care of Grantes later. I'll go to the fourth floor. Muscle Dome. I'll come back to that one. So basically, she's contemplating just going down to the uh, to below the third floor and uh, turning into a Seru monster. Dance club. All right, that might that sounds like fun. Let's see what uh, what all this place in, has because there's a lot of there's a lot of things. Soul Broadway. No, I don't kill random people. That's just rude. Bakery. All right. Arm shop. Elevator. Warehouse. Warehouse. Okay. Warehouses sound like fun. <laughs> You're just a bunch of kids. You know, I, we don't want any poor little kids around here. Go home. I'm not a kid. I'm 14. How uncool. <laughs> what about the other, uh... I don't want you around. I 
not a poor kid. You have money, eh? Well, this is our hangout. You have money, go inside and buy something. A life grail, sure. That sounds like fun. What? Lower the price. Half of that. You think we're stupid? Yeah, I do. Holy crap, man, these these items are uh these items are expensive. Murder is bad. Anyway, wanna kill some monsters? Anyway, that life grail sounds pretty good though. Whenever we can get 40,000 G. So that's someone else calling. Mara was one of Gaza's grandkids. I think you might be right, Tyrion. Gaza has a son named Theodore and two grandkids, Mara and Beld. Before Gaza's eyes, several monsters killed Gaza's son and grandkids. Hmm. That sounds unfortunate. Siri kills may have been human ones. The mist is the real villain. I mean, you're not wrong. As he loses reason for living and his spirit may die. Oh dear. But get out of my way. Everyone, th this this seems to be like the Gaza fan club or something. The paradise of despair. What is this Dangan Rampa? Are we gonna have to to? Are are there sixteen of us? And we're gonna have to kill each other one by one. Sarah samples from the Romayas. Well, gee, I wonder. Oh, there's there seems to be a Genesis tree. Except not anymore. Okay, well, good to know. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like what we ran across just a while ago. Elevator day school. Also I missed that message. Murder is only Murder is only okay if the one getting murdered hasn't hasn't enough sentience to understand the getting killed. That's that certainly is a moral take. Let me let me just steal from this chest in a friggin' daycare. That's also a moral take. Kitty house apparently. But not parents on the lower floors. Yeah. I have a feeling like these babies are not Hari. We've run across her a couple times, yeah. And so she won't regret the love she had. Interesting. Car brings you lots of presents. I feel like this is the uh, this is kind of the Kara um, fan club here, which yeah, she's nice to kids. At least there's that.
Well, I think we found the Byron Monastery. Since this is a safe place, let's go ahead and save into our into this slot that I should have saved in in the first place. Oh. Uh, it has been brought to my attention that I forgot to turn off the, uh, the language warning. Yeah, uh, I, uh, it, it's kind of an annoying new system. Oh, just power elixir, nice. So is this the top of uh, Soul Tower? Am I searching for arts? I don't think that you have any arts that you can... Uh... Wait, okay, what? Hang on. How is it too embarrassing to say? Like... I have questions. Miracle water! Well, this wasn't in a uh, uh, sage's chest, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. And uh, Vaughn's had one, Noah's had the honey, so Gala gets this one. Let's be fair. Stop! This is the Holy Temple of Byron. None but the followers of Byron may enter, let, tho let alone those wearing the despised Sarah on their person. Go away now! Old Master, wait. Please wait a moment. I am Gala. I embraced Byron and studied under, under Master Zopu. Please listen to what we have to say, please. Zopu! So you speak the name of Zopu, he certainly is a Byron. But please forgive my importance. Wow! Kala, you're so cool! Byron Martial Arts, seventh degree, what do you think? Hmm. There indeed is deft mastery in your techniques. Those could only be taught by uh, those could only be the secret arts of Byron, taught by Zopu himself. Having seen your skills, it would not do me to turn you away. Come with me. I see. Your tales, Gala, Vaughn, and Noah, but Rosseru and Genesis trees to witness such miracles. I am indeed impressed. I apologize for my rudeness earlier. Yes, there is a Genesis tree here. However, oh, see for yourselves. This is the temple's Genesis tree. Hey, Vaughn, that's only a. That's a seedling. This tiny, frail-looking Genesis tree is going to help us. Correct. This is a Genesis tree seedling. That is what we call it. One hundred years ago, the wilted Genesis tree of the Underground Warrior Square was transplanted here. Amazingly, it had transformed itself into the seedling. The prophecy of the Holy Emperor Tora IV says that when the time is right, the Genesis tree in Warrior Square under Soul will come back to life. I now entrust you with this Genesis tree seedling. I am honored, Master Deez. Oh, and Gala, we did it! Now we can drive the mist from Seoul! Good luck to you, and may Tieg smile on Seoul. And immediately everyone just comes here and starts training. Being all pontious. Um... 
So yes, uh, we absolutely needed to come up here in order to... Wait, what's going on? I, Gaza, will not let thine evil plot succeed. This I have vowed on my honor and on the mighty astral sword. No one who would permit me from keeping that vow shall be spared. Now put down the Genesis tree seedling. Do not resist me. Lest thou die by my blade. Insolent knaves! Fools! Dude, chill. What the hell? Fear not, so that was just the back of my sword. I do not take life without reason. I am Gaza. I bear thee no ill will. Yet if thou dost seek to drive away the mist and with it the seru, then I would be forced to stop thine evil scheme by taking thine lives. Now how dost thou reply? You're weird. I don't understand a word you're saying, but I can tell you're a weirdo. There's no reason for us to fight, Gaza. The awakening of the, of the, the, awakening of the Genesis tree and your vow. They are the same thing. That means you, old man, and we share a common goal. There is no reason for us to fight. We are not sworn enemies. Disjudge me not. My vow is to live the way of the sword, and that and no more. The grounds where my sword holds the power of life and death is the demon's lair below. I exist to fight there. My sword was forged to slay the demons. I live for carnage. Power of life and death? Demon's Lair? Carnage? I don't know. I don't understand what the old man is saying at all. You know what? The gentleman seems to think that if we revive the Genesis tree and drive away mist... That was Gala saying that. If we revive the Genesis tree and drive away the mist... Then we won't need... And we won't be able... Then he won't be able to practice his short swordsmanship and set on Seru and Mist anymore. Huh? That's too weird. That's just too weird. There's something wrong with this old guy. The mist can twist people's minds with its very existence. Put up idle talk. Let thine steel do the talking. I wasn't expecting there to be a boss here. I forgot about this. Okay, well, here's a boss. Uh, let's see. Recommend level 25. Again, we're only a couple of levels behind, so. Let's start things off the way we always started. Grandpa, please, you have enough coffee already. Ow! And that that is a whiff. Um the spirit buff. Alright, um, right. There's still some supers that we have, there's one super that we haven't seen that we have access to. Oh jeez, this guy is incredibly defensive. I'm glad that we saved. Also, I didn't mean to use Orb there, I meant to use Vera. <laughs> Whoops. Ooh. That's rough, dude. Um, yeah, let's properly use Vera on Gala. Uh, you're gonna spirit. You're also gonna spirit.
Vera's magic level increase, that means that uh, Nola's Vera is now level 9. It is maxed out. Now let's see what effect that has now. Hmm. Now let's uh, let's keep fighting, I guess. This might be not the best idea. Oh come on! Both times. I think what I might end up having to do is use that accessory that makes it so that he can't block. But that also makes it so that Noah can't block. Recover some status and AP. So it doesn't recover Toxic, but it does recover AP. That's interesting. This guy is, like, super mean. Um, yeah, you just cast your thing, so... Yeah, you're going to spirit. Oh, and then you... Ah, oh, jeez. This is not going to end well. Uh, let's hope this goes in the correct order. Noah is going to use Phoenix on Vaughn. Gala is going to... No, not command. Noah is going to use a Healing Flower. No, Healing Bloom. Fruit. There we go. This is the one. Okay, good. No I used first. Gala got to use before um before Gaza attacks. Hmm. This is this is this is real rough. That's nearly a one shot. Fortunately, Vaughn did survive that. Spoon. I think I just want to use a healing berry. Actually, hang on. A healing flower is 800. Yeah, let's use a healing berry. Because healing is like using an item is going to be faster than trying to cast. And in this case, more effective. Uh, you need to spirit. And, um,. Let me talk this up. Fortunately, Noah is... Oh, she blocked that whole thing. That's what you get, buddy. Completely blocked the assholes. I think you're good to spirit up. You're good to attack. And you just attack, so you spirit. Oh, 
There we go. I mean, still block part of that, but that's, uh... That's more damage in our favor. Twice in a row! Uh, yeah, that last attack did no damage, so you're cleared to attack. Uh, you need the spirit. And uh, you're cleared to attack. Vaughn, you're going to vary yourself. Uh, no, you have 66 AP. Is that enough? Yeah, Super Tempest is 60. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and you're going to spear it up. Uh, it's happening again. But yeah, if, uh, if we lose this fight, I am going to uh, equip that... Uh, I forget what it's called. Oh, that's orb. I want Vera right now. Um, you're in the spirit. I think you're good to attack, so do it. It's gonna ask for slash on. Okay, Gal is going to survive that. And retaliate. Grandpa gone rogue. Pretty much. going to use a healing berry on Gala because that's going to be a lot faster than trying to use a spell. And you're also going to spear it. I hate you! Yeah, well you called it, Jewel. I am out of Phoenix, so I'm not going to be able to bring her back up. I'm just going to have to, to make do with what I got. The change of... Uh, Change of plans here, let's just use spells.
Now that was a spell, so I was gonna knock him down regardless. You're gonna use. You don't wanna use spoon. I don't think I need to use spoon. Orb is fine. And you. I'm redeeming my points. Let's do this. I think I have like 2,000 something. I did it. <laughs> oh, the old man. Oh, don't be too sad about the old man. He knocked your butt down. Such a senseless fight. Why must human fight human? Bon, the old gentleman still lives. We must treat his wounds quickly. Have no fear, Songi is here! My, my. Kala, do you realize what you've done? You've killed a human being! You're all a disgrace. Your cruelty puts the Miss Henchman to shame, bloodthirsty beasts. How could you murder this poor old man just because he was a little eccentric? Ah, oh, the horror. Just watching it sent a chill through me. Songi, you bastard. Hey, wait. Wait, you simple-minded muscle-bound elf. I'll save the old man after all I've taken to him. And I like you, I'm a merciful person. <laughs> I'll heal him and help him recover. So stay alive long enough to see him get better. So long. That's Songi. What is he up to? Bon, is the old man going to be okay? I'm worried about him. Um... So I'm going to have Noah. Actually, no, Gala still has a lot of points. Let's uh, have him be the party. And, um, yeah, let's save again. I mean, that would be a good idea, yeah, Jewel. Plus, we, we have to start filling our point car again. So now we have that Genesis Seedling. I don't think we're going to be able to awaken it uh, for it to be strong enough to... Uh, Send off the mist, though. Uh, how much money do we have, actually? 10,000? Yeah, that's not much. Arm shop, bakery. We're, all, we're only about two levels behind. Check out Soul Broadway, sure. That sounds like fun. Mission is 10G per person. Alright. Sure, why not?
Yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> hey folks, thanks for coming! Hi, I'm Solfar, and this is Solmar. I'd like to say... I'm a soul man! <laughs> Get it? Soul man? Soul man? Hey, stop joking around, you moron! Yeah. Good. I'm glad we paid 30 gil. 30 gil. This isn't Final Fantasy. 30 G for that. Now leave me alone. I'm sleeping. Don't wake me up. Oops. I don't want to leave yet. This is totally worth all 30 zenny. I'm going to go through the other way. Fair enough. Ah, here's a cutscene. My partner Pig said my partner Pig says he didn't want to perform anymore. This is all pointless. Since I haven't, I haven't been able to find a new partner. Hey! Hey you there, you big one. Huh? Your name's Gala? Gala, you look just like Pig. Would you like to go out on stage with me? Sure, why not? What? You'll go on stage with me? Oh, thank you. Alright. Stage is this way. Let's go. What are you worried about? Just deadpan it up there and I'll do the rest. Hey, you're a great straight man, so don't worry. Let's go. Well, that seemed to go over well, actually. Of course, we'll never get to see what that performance looked like. Wow, you're a great Gollum. The audience has never applauded that much. I forget how wonderful it is to see people smiling and laughing. But no, it's not what you think. Vaughn, Noah, don't get the wrong idea. I, I was just having a serious conversation. Even if the Byron Warrior Monk did perform in a comedy show. No, I mean, the rules of Byron forbid laughter. So even if I, a master of Byron, did, I, I mean, I would... I could never... <sighs> hey, Gala, what's wrong? Your act was just great, so what's the matter now? That line wasn't very funny. Ah, you're great, Gala. You're not just strong, you're funny, too. I want to go see all the people laughing. I'll be back in a minute. Wait, no more. Oh, and stop. Stop looking at me like that. I... It's just the... You know... Oh, that Noah went on by herself. I guess we should follow her. <laughs> Seems a little flustered. Yeah, we, we appear to have uh, woken up the audience here. Or is there still like... Oh. Well, he's still super into her, and she seems to be interested in something else at this point. Yeah, the person who's really talked about nowadays is Master Gala. This is between you and me. That Gala, you meet big and strong. He's a natural born comedian. In other words, naturally dumb. Hey, you can't say that. Don't worry, I can say that because me and him are good friends. Just the other day, Gala was saying to me. Well, Gala is forever a comedy legend in Soul Tower now. That's where we're at now. I think we probably have time for one more feature.
Oh right, we need a gold card for this. I wanna go in. I'll poo on you. Music is popping in there though. I mean, we can't enter the dance club, we don't have a gold card. Muscle Dome. That seems, uh. Seems like the only thing that we haven't seen yet. Eight! Nine! Ten! And there's the bell signaling the end of the fight! A colorful finish in only 1 minute 47 seconds! The contestant in the blue corner has won a record victory! Coliseum zone? Well, maybe we'll have some use for that. By the way, this game has gambling, just so you know. But we only have the one coin, so we can't actually gamble. Will this one accept just one coin? Uh, Jewel, the rule, the rule against gambling is real gambling for real money. I didn't want to... I was trying to, to go into another direction here. Bet it all on me. Uh, <laughs> Jewel got a bat. I press this... Secret is to press the button when you see a seam on the wheel, but still. And bonus round after another. What prizes? We don't have any coins. Apparently a gold card is 50 tokens, so... What the hell is an evil god icon? We have three types of games and two zones. In front of the arcade is the amusement zone. Wild card, Baka Fighter, enjoy either or both. The rear is a Coliseum Zone. I feel like the Coliseum Zone is going to take a while, so uh, we're not going to be doing that today. These character selections sure seem familiar. Let's pick not Vaughn. Oh, uh, yes, actually how to play. They use square, cross, and circle buttons to fight. It's basically Rochambeau. If you win two rounds before your opponent, you win prize money. If your opponent wins two rounds before you, you don't win anything. Good fight, everyone. Round two. <laughs> Sue for likeness. So I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Perfect. there seems to be a very simple pattern going on here. And that gives us two free coins. 
Next stage. Round one. Fight! Okay, um... I got it eventually. Fight. Perfect. <laughs> and now I'm ready to play Street Fighter 6. It's like there, there's that one slight deviation, like, a little bit into the pattern, and then it just sticks to the pattern solidly after that. I'm sure it will come as no surprise that uh, going forward, the patterns are going to be a little, uh, a little rougher. Hold it, stop or I'll make you stop. Round one. Oh, this asshole. The meta right now is rock, everyone's doing it. Fifty coins. You know what? Fifty coins sounds pretty good. And so now we should have fifty coins, because I guess it did cost one coin to actually play that uh, that mini game. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is do some grinding around here. And because especially with these, uh, these slot machines, I believe there is a way to rack up a lot of coins, uh, at least consistently. 
I actually remember coming to this place and um, basically finding a way to like hold down the buttons and just leave it like that overnight. And then I, you know, got up, checked the machine, and like I had tons of coins. And the thing is, like, you can technically trade that for uh, actual money by just, you know, buying other things like, uh, you know, vitality rings or healing fruits or whatever, and just selling them back. So this is the place that I was talking about as far as um, grinding up a lot of money real fast. But of course, I'm not going to bore you all with grinding for, for money uh, infinitely here. So I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm going to go ahead and hydrate. including pouring water all over my face, apparently. I'm not extending the stream uh, even more to do stretch and posture. I'll take care of that when, when we're done, and we are done. So I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you for hanging out. Uh, big list today. Alexander, Zero, Grim Shrouds, uh, Ricky, uh, Jewel, Tyrion, and Simguy. Um, let's go check out what Arborelia is doing. Uh, she's doing a, um, basically a two-game solo rando of uh, Super Mario World and GeoGuessr. So if y'all want to see how GeoGuessr fits into Archipelago, um, y'all can go check that out. Uh, so the next scheduled stream is going to be on Tuesday at um, 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the uh, Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Belgo shenanigans. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next uh, Sunday Super... <laughs> our next long run stream next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. And we're going to do some more of Legend of the Gaia and see if we can get that... Um, that Genesis tree seedling planted at the base of Soul Tower. So thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.